So Apple just launched a new AI system called Realm, and they say it's even better than GPT-4, which is pretty impressive since GPT-4 is one of the top language models out there. This new technology could make Siri a lot smarter, helping it remember what you talked about, understand what's on your iPhone screen, and even recognize sounds around you, such as music playing nearby. As we get closer to the WWDC 2024 event in June, there's a lot of excitement about what Apple is doing with AI, especially about making Siri better. This comes after people have been asking for Siri to be improved. A research paper from Apple's AI team gives us a peek into what they're working on, including a system called Realm. This system is designed to help Siri get better at understanding the flow of conversations, figuring out what's being shown on the screen, and noticing sounds around you. Realm stands out because it looks at solving reference resolution, how Siri can refer to things correctly in conversations as a language problem, which is different from older methods that focused more on the conversation itself. This new way lets Realm turn talk, screen content, and sounds into text that large language models can understand better, using their ability to grasp the meaning of words and sentences. In their research, Apple's team benchmarked the Realm models against OpenAI's GPT 3.5 and GPT 4, the technologies behind the free chat GPT and the subscription-based chat GPT Plus. Their studies showed that even the smallest version of Realm is as good as GPT 4, and the bigger versions of Realm are even better. The researchers explained that their smallest Realm model was over 5% better at dealing with different kinds of information, especially stuff that appears on your screen. When compared to GPT 3.5 and GPT 4, this smallest model was on the same level as GPT 4, and the bigger Realm models were clearly superior. Realm comes in four sizes, Realm ADM, Realm 250M, Realm 1B, and Realm 3B, with M standing for million and B for billion parameters. To give you an idea, GPT 3.5 has 170 billion parameters, while GPT-4 has about 1.5 trillion parameters, the research paper highlights that Realm is not only better than previous methods, but also competes with GPT-4, which is the latest and most advanced. Even though Realm has way fewer parameters, Apple hasn't said yet if they'll use this new technology in iOS 18 or upcoming devices, but if they do, Siri could become much smarter. All right, now, Microsoft is also diving deep into AI, specifically within the Xbox ecosystem. They're currently testing a new AI-powered Xbox chatbot designed to automate support tasks, making it easier for users to get help with issues like game refunds or troubleshooting without needing to navigate through traditional support channels. What's cool is this chatbot isn't just a bunch of text. It's designed to be more like a character from a game, with animations that make it feel alive as it helps with your Xbox questions. This smart chatbot uses Microsoft's extensive collection of support info for Xbox, so it can handle lots of different questions and even process refunds on the spot. They're planning to test it more, which suggests it might become a regular feature for Xbox support soon. Haiyan Zhang, who's in charge of gaming AI at Xbox, mentioned how this chatbot is designed to make getting help simpler. It can understand what you're asking in a natural way and find answers straight from Xbox's support materials. This effort is part of a larger vision within Microsoft to infuse AI across its gaming platforms. They're not just thinking about using AI to help with customer service, but also to create parts of games, make sure they run smoothly, and make the games themselves more interesting. For example, they're using AI to make game art, test games, and even create characters that feel real with help from a company called InWorld. They're also thinking about using AI to keep games safe and friendly by helping with rules and making sure everyone plays nice on Xbox. Microsoft might even put AI helpers in games to give players tips or make gaming more fun. Even though these ideas are big, Microsoft hasn't talked a lot about them in public. They're being careful because people have mixed feelings about AI in games, but the head of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, is really into the idea of putting AI in all of their products, including games. Microsoft has a plan called Xbox Everywhere, which means they want you to be able to play Xbox games on lots of different devices. AI is a big part of making that happen. They even hinted at a new Xbox that would use a lot of AI to do some really cool stuff. All right, now amidst the flurry of AI advancements from giants like Apple and Microsoft, OpenAI just rolled out an exciting update to ChatGPT. 
Now, you can use it for free without even needing to sign in. This step is all about making AI tech easier for everyone to use, kind of like how simple it is to use a search engine. Starting today, you can jump right into using ChatGPT 3.5, bringing us closer to OpenAI's dream of making AI tools available to all and sparking interest in what AI can do. This update is part of a bigger trend where tech giants are working hard to make AI more user-friendly and useful. Apple, for example, is working on making Siri better at conversations with something called Realm, and Microsoft is trying out an AI chatbot to help Xbox users. OpenAI's move to make ChatGPT easier to access is a big step towards making AI more common and puts it up against traditional search engines, shaking things up in how we find and use information online. However, OpenAI has said that the things people talk about with ChatGPT might be used to make the model better. But if you don't want that, you can choose not to share your chats by changing your settings. This option isn't very clear when you just start using it. OpenAI has put in more safety features and has made sure that ChatGPT doesn't talk about a wider range of topics to keep the free version safe for everyone. Still, some features like saving your chat, sharing it, and using voice or special instructions are only for people who sign up for an account, whether it's free or paid. Here's another interesting update. Google has decided to delete any search history or data it gathers from us when we're using incognito mode. Before, this information wasn't saved on our devices, but Google still kept a record of it. Now they're gonna erase it, giving us more privacy when we browse in incognito mode. And here's something else that's pretty cool. Researchers at Oxford University have created a new AI tool called DrugGPT to help improve healthcare. This tool helps doctors and healthcare workers in England by giving them a digital tool for prescribing medicine safely. Doctors can input a patient's health issues into drug GPT, and it quickly suggests medicines, warns about side effects, and checks for any drug conflicts. What makes drug GPT special is that it doesn't just give suggestions, it also explains why using research and references to back it up. This new development is a big step towards tackling the issue of around 237 million medication mistakes made each year in England. These errors are not only expensive for the National Health Service, NHS, costing about 98 million pounds a year, but they also result in over 1,700 deaths. In the past, doctors used technology like script switch to help decide on medications, but drug GPT offers a better solution. It aims to improve how doctors understand prescriptions, which could help patients follow their treatment plans more closely. The idea is to help busy doctors by giving them detailed info about the drugs they prescribe. This is part of a larger trend where AI is used in different fields to make things simpler and better for people, just like ChatGPT does for chatting and Xbox's chatbot does for gamers. Drug GPT is designed to assist healthcare professionals by providing AI-based insights, making prescribing medicine safer and more informed. It's like having a digital assistant for doctors intended to support, not replace them, and to help reduce mistakes in prescribing medication. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.